Hey y'all, it's your girl, Rhea Danielle, back with another one. So today I plan to speak to you all about the best skating rinks or places to skate here in the Maryland DC area, AKA Snap City. So Snap City is what the skate community has pretty much dubbed the DMV Maryland DC area because it's the home of the skate style snapping. Snapping is my second favorite skate style, um, which we will get into skate styles in another video at another time. But I wrote a blog post about my top five um, best skating rinks here in Maryland, DC. Um, let me reiterate my favorite places to skate because I'm pretty sure that other people that are from here, not from here, have ever skated here, have different opinions on where their favorite places are to skate, but it's my blog and my channel, so it's my opinion. Um, but yeah, so I wrote a vlog about uh, my top five best places to skate here in the Maryland, D.C. area in Snap City. And um, I wrote that post in April when I first decided that I wanted to actually start the blog. So because I wrote that post all the way in April, a lot has changed since then. Um, some things that have changed, they started changing um, in, um, in the times like before COVID and quarantine happened, but most of the changes um, have come because of quarantine and COVID-19, unfortunately. Because I wrote that post so long ago, um, I still I still released it on my blog, but I wanted to come here and update you all on what actually has changed since then and how my, uh, my how skating has changed in, um, in Snap City since I wrote that post back in April. So when I wrote the blog, I listed my top five and my top five were Skateland Putty Hill, which is in Nottingham, Maryland, which is pretty much East Baltimore County. Y'all like how I said Baltimore. I can speak or whatever, but anyway. <laughs> They are not my favorite rink, but I definitely will skate there. I like the floor at Putty, and it's a pretty, it was a pretty decent size. And their family says they have, um, they don't have an adult night session. So the change that was happening with um, Putty Hill specifically was that we were gonna be getting an adult night, but something happened. We ain't going to talk about it, but something happened that caused them to retract that adult night. So that adult night did not happen. And I was very upset about it because one of my favorite DJ from up north, shout out DJ Ali, I was coming down here and he was going to do that adult night. But no, it's not happening. So we'll see how that how that moves forward. But but I didn't like Putty because... Um, and still have an issue with it because they just play top 40s and I skate to I like to skate to music that I like to, that I like because that's my that's how I get my vibe that's how I catch my vibe so they play like top 40s hits and the only time that they'll change that is if they see actual skaters on the floor well which is not like just a regular family people come with their kids they see they will they you can tell because they're regulars uh, like they can tell when they're actual skaters there and then they will like put in um it's one of uh popular skate djs who put, they'll put a cd in and play it to death and if you go to putty on a regular basis that can get old because it's the same CD. And it's like, okay, next, next. Can I get another, can I get another track? Can I get another song? Can we get an actual DJ up in here or something? But so that, that can get annoying with Putty Hill. So that's why they were my number five. But I would, I would go to their sessions just because it's, it's still a decent time. Number four, um, uh, skating rink in the Maryland DC area was Temple Hills Skate Palace or Crystal Skate Palace which is in Temple Hills Maryland but it's literally right on the line of DC like DC is around the corner <laughs> and <clears throat> like a literal corner like sorry but um <laughs> so that rink 
is my number four because I like the ring and but they don't got no damn air. Like, baby, I be sweating, okay? Like, I be hot. I, the kid, I, I sweat like a pig. If anybody, anybody that skates with me knows I got my rag. I always got my rag because I'm a sweat. And with egg crystals, it's like, they just got these big old industrial fans. And I'm like, oh, that's not enough, baby child. That's not enough. It's not, it's not enough. But they have a adult night that is on there. They actually have two adult nights that I, that I like. But the one that I would go, that I frequented the most was the one that's on Thursday night. Shout out DJ Prodigy because he is the one that DJs at that session. And it's a good time. I like, I was going to say, it's a good, it's a, it's, it's a good time. But um, the major downfall to, um, to Temple is that it is like an hour away from me. So if I go to that, one, if I go to that on a Thursday night, I'm tired already because I've worked. I work full time. So I've worked that day. So then I go down there, drive the hour there. But then the session is over at one o'clock in the morning. And that ride back, that ride back, baby, <laughs> almost they make it a few times. That ride back is crazy at one o'clock in the morning. So so that's why they were my number, number four. <laughs> on that list was hot skates <sighs> let's just say let's just let's just have a moment of silence for hot skates so rp hot skates Hot Skates is one of the rinks that is actually closed indefinitely. It is in Woodlawn, Maryland, which is West Baltimore County. And it was very close to me. It was a rink that, honestly, they were, my, they, they were not the best. I'm not even going to sit here and pretend like they were the best because they weren't. Because it's kind of small. It's very small. They have these four big old pillars that... I started skating there when I was not as good as a skater that I, as I am now. I have much, much more growth to do, but I'm much, a much better skater than I was when I first started. And those pillars were in my way, baby. I was like, oh no, well, I don't know how to stop a pillar. Like, why are those big four, big old four pillars in the middle of the, in the middle of the rink? But that's what, that's what it is. And their floor was trash. I'm not even going to sit here and pretend like they weren't. The, the floor at High Skates was trash. It was like one, like I said, the floor is small, like it's a small rink. And then um, it's like humps and dips in different spots. And if like when you when you start to skate there regularly, you just know where they are. So you try to avoid, but the, well, try to avoid them. But um, if you don't know where, the, where those bumps and dips and humps are, it's like, okay, death is on the way. It's like, you're definitely gonna fall. You're gonna deck it. And that's just what it's gonna be. And who wants that? Who wants that? And the, I mean, the damage from, from what I hear, it came from, uh, I guess from like water damage and, you know, seeping into the wood, terrible. So, but, and they said that they fixed it, but they didn't. So, but I really enjoyed hot skates because they had one of my favorite adult nights at the time, which was, it was, um, DJ Swizzy and DJ Juice on Tuesday nights. And then they had a Monday night, 50 cent session and then a wednesday night dollar session and they were like around the corner from where i live so i'm like i'm at high skates all the time so it was like perfect pra it was just perfect practice for me and then like i said they had that good adult night but unfortunately um because of um quarantine and covid and i guess not being able to like up keep keep up the rank i don't i'm honestly not 100 percent sure because hot skates is owned by um United Skates, which they own a lot of skate rinks around um, around the country, but um, Hot Skates is, um, I've seen a list recently of all of the skating rinks that were up for sale, and Hot Skates is on that list, and it is for lease, so it is closed indefinitely. <laughs> Rank, the, the rank that was my number two on the on the list on my blog 
with um a Lanham Skate Center, which um people call Seabrook or or Lanham or even people even call it the ham sometimes. But um that rink let's let's get into Lanham. So Lanham was okay. It's an okay rink. It's a great it's a good sized rink. And they what I love about Lanham is that I don't think I've ever been to a, uh, to a session at Lanham that did not have a DJ. And that includes their family sessions and their adult night sessions. And uh, from, if I'm correct, they had like, they had like a few different, um, different adult night sessions. And I enjoy, I enjoy skating to DJs. That's just my preference. I like to skate to a DJ just because, I don't know. It's like, it's like being at a party just on skates. So I love that about Lanham. What I get into about Lanham is that they have so many, I almost got real, 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 because they got so many goddamn rules, and I'm not going to name no names, but if you go to Lanham, you know who I'm talking about. It's just too much of, it's like very, very, like the enforcing of the rules is, a, it gets a bit ridiculous. Is it, it's no phones on the floor, no headphones. You can't do certain types of skate moves. Like, um, like a friend of mine, he likes to do the, uh, do 360s. They say you can't do those. You can't slide on the floor. You can't do, can't do this. And you can't do that. You can't do this. And you can't do that. And it's too much. It gets to be too much. So it annoys me. Then now post post COVID, you have to have the mask on you, so you have to damn near die to skate on the on to skate on the floor, and it's like I just can't, like I just can't. <laughs> city is the bake shake and bake family fun center it is in baltimore maryland and it's up the street from my house and i and i just love the bake so i love the floor at the bake the bake had uh, i was gonna say the bake had um two adult nights that i loved and they had a dollar session family session that i that i love um, um dj swizzy used to dj um um the sunday night adult night and um dj flash dj the thursday night so some changes that happened even before like slightly before covid happened dj flash was no longer um dj in the thursday night um the thursday night adult night sad about that then not long after dj um dj swizzy was no longer dj in the um the sunday night adult night so that was like boom it was like two of my favorite adult night sessions was like we done with that baby like i'm like no situation of course um so let me um backtrack a little bit uh our governor here in maryland governor hogan put in a stay-at-home order starting on i believe that was hmm, it was approximately it was sometime in march and later later in march he you know closed all the non-essential businesses so that closed down all of these rank all of these ranks that i'm talking about were not open until um, I believe was that sometime in June, um, and sometime in June is when the um, was when the PG rink, so that is the Lanham and um, Lanham and Crystals opened up, in sometime in June, and a, a few of the other rinks um, that I'll, I'll talk about later <laughs> um, uh, in the in the state opened up, but specifically in Baltimore, uh, Hogan has said that you know if you're if your county uh, or city is not ready because of the numbers of, of of COVID cases. If they're not ready to move on to the to the different phases, like phase two is what opened up the um is what is what opened up the skating race. If they're not ready to move on to those phases, then they don't have to. Our mayor here here in Baltimore said no, it ain't happening. Baltimore is too many people. We are the largest city in um 
in Maryland. So it was a no go for, it was a no go. So the bake is still not open currently. All of that to say is a lot of changes that have happened in Maryland and in Maryland in the way that we skate here because, uh, because honestly, because of COVID. Like when Governor Hogan put the stay at home order in, we were still allowed to go outside to do leisure activities. I mean, um, um, athletic activities and skating is an athletic activity. So a lot of Maryland DC skaters were skating at Anacostia Skate um, um, Skate Pavilion, which is at Anacostia um, Park um, in Southeast DC. And that was starting to cause problems. It was a great time because DJs would come out and play and then that started to be cut because the, the parks got closed because of COVID. And so then, um, so then people would just bring their bring their big big portable speakers and we would still have skate sessions but then that became a problem because like i said the park was closed we had to park a million miles away and walk all the way down to the skate pavilion for one and then park rangers on our back on our back so annoying because of talking about we were we was too many people in the skate pavilion we were too close everybody wasn't wearing masks and it was just like sir I know it. And the police got called a few times. Like I, I like I've been present. I've spoke. I've spoken to police officers on the behalf of some skaters, and I've, I know other people have done the same. Where the where the police officers were okay with it, but the park rangers weren't. Then there will be other people in the park, like bike bike riders or walking and stuff, and they will record us and send it to. It was just a lot. Posting it on Facebook and stuff. It was just a lot. So me currently right now. I'm not skating nearly as much as I used to. And that's strictly because with the COVID stuff, the, the rinks that are currently open, it's like, I just don't listen. I can't barely breathe when I skate. <laughs> when I skate on a regular. Y'all want me to wear a mask? I be dying. I'm literally, literally dying on the floor. Then the sweat, I told y'all I sweat like a pig. The sweat is pooling in my mask. It was stuck right here. And then I'm supposed to put that mask back on when I leave. It's just too much, too much, too many of the things. So I just am not really skating as much. So Snap City Skate Life is like, it's not like what it used to be, but I feel like it will eventually get back there. But right now, because of the COVID situation, it ain't, it ain't, ain't all that. I ain't even going to lie. But in my blog, which you should go check out, and I will put the information in the description box for that. And I'll also put the information on Maryland's COVID timeline in the, in the description because that affects the skating rinks and where you can skate and how you can skate. <laughs> In my blog, I discussed, um, I, I posted a few like honorable mentions of skate, skating rinks that are also in Maryland, which, so those are sports, but they did not make my list. They didn't make my list because these are not skating rinks that I frequent. I don't use, most of them are not close to me and yeah, but I will at least mention them because they are still in Snap City. They're in the area and if you come here. You can go there too if you come here or if you're if you're local and you just these these rings may be closer to you so um sports mill hall is in upper co maryland all the way up 795 um i actually like sports mill hall but i only really go to sports mill hall when there's a skating event but because sports mill hall is a very good size and i love the sports mill hall's floor sports mill hall's floor is on is honestly like toe-to-toe -to -toe with the bakes floor to me I like both of those floors. They're like my favorite floors in the area to skate on. But um, um, then the next one that I would like to mention would be Skate Zone. So Skate Zone is in Crofton, Maryland. And my main dislike about Crofton is that it's not a wood floor. It is like, I guess, like a concrete type of floor. So it's kind of like skating outside, but it's indoors. And I don't know. They are, it's okay. It's not, it's not bad. If you want to go, like, if, if you need to, if you want to skate and you're close to that area, I would, it's not, I would recommend to go there. Um, then there's Skateland North Point. And I'm going to just be honest. I've never been there because I don't like the area. It's in Dundalk. That shit stank, down it? Ugh. <laughs> if you, <laughs> it's in Dundalk. <laughs> And that's all I'm gonna say but I mean if you're close to there and or like if you live close to there or if you 
are from out of town and you're just in that area and somewhere else you can skate then there is laurel skate center roller skating skate blah, roller blah. Then there's Laurel Roller Skating Center, and that is in Laurel, Maryland. I actually just went there for the first time. They actually had a DJ, and it was a decent session. It's not one that I would see myself frequenting, but it's okay. So it's definitely somewhere if you're that if that's the area that you're in or you're close to, then they would say then I will recommend that. And then um, Wheels is also in Maryland and honestly I believe that is Severn Maryland that is another rink that I have not been to in this area it's in Severn Maryland I believe don't quote me though because I like I said I've never been there but I think that that's the area that it's in thank you all for watching if you got this far thank you oh thank you you all are so wonderful I really appreciate you for watching all the way through and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and look out for more content from me and head on over to the blog and you can read it. Bye, guys.